Family gatherings and Christmas parties are underway. But oftentimes people close to us are not on the same page when it comes to masks and vaccinations. That's an added stress. And it wasn't hard to get people to talk about it for a new Let's Talk segment. Gus's Keystone Restaurant in Mount Joy is the place to be for lunch in Upper Lancaster County. No shortage of stories to tell here. But friendships, it's unfortunate, but people don't see eye to eye all the time. Chad Kennedy doesn't trust the COVID vaccines and doubts masks work. He says some friends have shunned him for that. Uh, just more or less people just pushing you away because they know how you think. So there's just a lot of distancing and they know no more meetups, nothing like that. The fatigue is, is unbelievable. The steroids, you can barely breathe. Robin Reno is on steroids and chemotherapy for a rare blood disease. Multiple people in her life are not vaccinated. What kind of a reaction do you have when you hear that? It's visceral. <laughs> it's visceral. Because I fought for my life. I'm still fighting for my life. She asks people who are not vaccinated to wear a mask around her. Have you ever said to anyone in your in your life, in your circles, mm -hmm. or has anyone said to you, I can't see you now because of this? Absolutely. It's an inconvenience, simply an inconvenience. And what it's going to do to help other people and protect other people, put that mask on. It's not going to hurt you. Dottie Dickel lives in a retirement community that requires its employees to be vaccinated. She misses the workers who are quitting over that. Oh, yeah, they're not just workers, they're, they're friends. I'll notice it every day that they're not there. I will, I can't, even, I can't even stand to think to say goodbye to them. She thinks her retirement community should not require workers to be vaccinated. They're just trying to keep you safe. What do you say to that? I say I got my vaccines, that should be protecting me. Despite the discord, there is hope. Everything works itself out. That's how it is here in the United States. You know, things come and go, things get real popular and they fade out. You know, COVID eventually fade out. It's how it is here in the United States. I mean, it'll go away and then we'll all come back together. It's just got to give it time.